Good morning. This is Mike. I'm back for uh, day three on this uh, job, and I got my buddy John here with me. John's down here doing the doing the chainsaw work. Hey. Yeah, we're getting loaded in down here, and we were going to come yesterday, but it was one, it was bitterly cold, and and two, it was really windy yesterday. And just thought maybe felling trees in the uh, in the high wind uh, was kind of stupid. So anyway, uh, but we're here today. It's so much warmer today. It's 24 here right now. Um, I've been talking lately about how hey, it's kind of brisk out here. It's not brisk. It's freaking cold out here so um, but uh, John really likes the cold and I'm gonna be inside the machine most of the time. So um, So I'm really gonna be fine, but uh, Anyway, so we're this is how how we left it. Um, we're gonna pick it up and go back to the uh, uh, to the back to that drain field and uh, we're just gonna drop those trees and try to move stuff well enough to get it out of our own way. And then, uh, glad you're here. We're gonna uh, get back here and I'm gonna get inside and get my fingers warmed up because they are screaming. Thanks. All right, we're rolling back here. <clears throat> I've got, uh, this is the mess that I made here the other day. I had come back and cut four of these trees. We got these big, pine trees to cut um, there were 24 trees marked back here the majority of them are great big there was this handful of them that were that were really small so yeah I probably I cut four big trees uh, back here one here one there one further up that way and I think one was over here and uh, and this is the remnants of that and this is when I realized there's no way I can process this many huge trees by myself in a day. Um, 24 trees sounds pretty manageable, but when they get, when they have this many branches like this right here, I mean, that's a, you know, a 20 plus inch tree. And then there's other through here. They're not all that big, but, uh, uh, but anyway, it's, it's a lot of work. So, um, but it's going to be fun. It's fun work, and this is why I do this because I enjoy it. And I'm uh, super glad to have John here with me. I love him. He's a great friend, and and uh, I love working with him. And uh, just I always love an opportunity to get him out here on the job, and he loves it too. So um, anyway, we're going to have a ball today. Uh, so I'm going to put the camera up here, sun at your back, and uh, we're going to start. Uh, there was one big branch in here that I want to separate out uh, but the rest of this is pretty small stuff and this is just the top of this tree that's uh, a sweet gum and then uh, but most of these are pines and then we're gonna go do that next big pine tree the big pine tree after that and then I think there's a third one down there we're gonna do those pop 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 and then this area will start opening up and then we're gonna start moving around like this so another one there 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 and move our way around we're gonna do this one, and then there's a couple, a couple more right up here, and uh, and that'll get it done. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get it rolling here.
All right, so we just wrapped on day three. Um, we've been here all day and we got all the trees in the back cut and then we uh, came up in here. I didn't run video right at the end of the day, but we had I had a bunch of trees lined up in here, these bigger trees that I'd cut. Uh, for, you know, I guess that was on the second day. Uh, these big trees up through here were all laying down through the, they were laying all down through there and so I dragged those out at the end of day two and, and laid them all along here and then we went and separated out the you know the big parts of the trunks and I dragged about probably seven or eight of them down through there and uh, and took some of those trunks down there so um, now I've got all that material from the uh, you know back in the drain field uh, in the back that's got to be mulched and then all this stuff and there might be I need to kind of fine check through here there might be one or two little or three little trees through here that I need to get down but uh, uh, mostly what's gonna get cut has already been cut and um, it, frankly it's looking pretty good um, and so it's a go it's gorgeous up here right now it's still cold it's obviously not near as cold as it was this morning but it's been breezy all day but uh, we just had the time change and so here we are it's six o'clock and, and of course the days are getting longer so it feels like it's about four o'clock but uh, anyway looking forward to wrapping this up tomorrow it should be pretty straightforward and I'll see you then thanks mate
Hey, all right, finally wrapping up this job. And uh, it looks actually a little bit better than I thought it was going to because it was really tough to mulch up in here. And a lot of it I didn't actually mulch. There's kind of down this little holler here that's just all full of rocks. And so there were rocks up here too, but I got so many trees. Uh, I got so many trees mulched in this area that finally it's actually deep enough in here that I was hitting them less as I was going through, but uh, it just didn't start out as bad down here. But I got this area under the power line uh, uh, pretty pretty good shape too, and I ground up quite a lot of stuff down there, so that's pretty well decent. But by the time you get to right over there, there's a, there's a big rock in the middle of the field over there, and all that hillside right there i went over it really really high but um it's just super rocky and hard to drive on but i got the drain field over there uh, all done and and got that looking pretty spiffy so um i'm not gonna walk over there right now but i got a picture that i'm putting up right now and uh maybe even some overhead and uh you can see that but uh, it turned out to be a pretty, pretty big project, and there's certainly more, um, certainly more that I could do here. There's some, there's some cleaning up. There's some piles and junk back in there that was really outside of the area that I was asked to work in. But um, I just like to clean stuff up if I can, uh, sometimes, um, if I have the opportunity. But. Um, it's after six now and got a long drive home and I got to still got to load the machine up and everything so and I got to do that while I'm sitting out on the road so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before it gets dark <clears throat> um, this was a tricky place to get into it's going to be a little more straightforward getting out of but that's because I've already <laughs> I've already done the hard part I should have had that on video because I hooked the trailer up Pulled out of the driveway, backed it around like this so I could put the grapple on there, which I did. But then I got the truck stuck because I was just off the edge of the driveway. So I had to back the thing on around and finally I was able to get back out, but I had to cut down some trees on the other side because they were I would have hit them with my truck. It was a mess, but whew. Anyway, wrapping it up. Um, I think it looks pretty good so far the client seems to have been happy with it so uh, hopefully he likes what he sees here and um, I'm going to sign off thanks for being here see you next time